don't know how did this happen. Hey, it's okay. Talk to me. You know how I run monthly races at the workshop for the apprentice mecánicas y mecánicos who work with me? It gives them a chance to show off their projects and test their skills. I didn't know that. That's awesome. It is. Or it was until this month. That new kid, Aurelio, he... he beat me in a drag race. Ali, are you saying the big tragedy is that you've lost one race? How is that not una tragedia? Come on, we have work to do. <laughs> you sure you bought enough race cars? Alec, you don't have to win every single race. I don't. It's not just one race. Aurelio runs the custom engine setup. He's a brilliant mechanical too. Maybe even better than me. Ale, that's ridiculous. And me, my friend, we're going to show everyone how it's done. Yes, boss. We're going to start with the early days of motor racing. Drop by when you can. Sure thing. Ale, let me just say, you're great, and you don't need to worry about anything. You finished? Good. Now, take the Napier Relton and help me figure out how to make you go faster. Fine. Cool. Get in. You like it? The Napier has a 24-liter W12. They used it to break speed records and test aircraft parachutes. Uh, do we have a parachute? No, it was too heavy. Now, vamos! gonna ask if I could keep it. I have good news. You've given up this silly rivalry with the radio? Even better. Meet me here. Wow. Nice wheels. 32 Ford Coupe. One of the mecanicas in my workshop, Katie, is from a racing family in California. She got me thinking about the next great era of speed machines. Thank you, Katie. This is a stock version. Let's see how it handles the dirt. Hot rodding was always about two things, breaking speed records and, uh, careful adherence to the rules. In the 1920s, they needed cars that could outrun anything else on the roads. In the 40s and 50s, they had to race on dry lake beds in secret because gasoline was rationed. Huh, I didn't know that. Cool. It's not cool, it's serious research. We have to learn so we can win. Are you writing this down? Kinda busy.
100 yards, you will arrive at your destination. Bueno, now here's the same car customized by the head mechanica at Horizon. Which, last time I checked, is me. Oh, this ought to be good. that you ever lost it. <laughs> well, I can still do in an engine. So, how could Aurelio have pulled off that win? Everything is ready for our next racing history class. Get down here, quick. Why? Is Aurelio working on a new ride? He might be. That's not funny. Ali, sorry about that joke on the phone. I was just... Ay, de que. Forget it. My apprentice, Katie, and I have been talking about the American muscle car era. Might be some lessons there for us. Let's do it! Dodge Hemi Superstock. The biggest Dodge engine in the smallest Dodge chassis. Quarter mile in 11 seconds. Very nice! See, this is the Alejandro I remember. Drag racing is all about reaction, I am not. Maybe I'll really have dropped the gun on you. Oh boy. As well as the engine, they removed everything from the dart that would weigh it down on the track. The radio, the armrest, side mirrors, carpet. Feel it, the corners for sure. Maybe if I pull the carpet out of every car in my garage. Don't even think about it. Wasn't it? We've tried muscle cars and straight line speed machines, but we can still go faster. You need to take a breath, dude. <laughs> you like this. How about we step up la velocidad with some help from the Italians? Bellissimo! Let me guess. Your apprentice, Enzo? Matteo, actually. But yes, he reminded me of one of the most important cars in history. 
the first production model to hit 200 miles per hour. <laughs> you don't need an excuse to get me into an F-40. If this doesn't make us better racers, nothing will. Pure speed, pure performance. A nice 40th birthday present for Ferrari. And anyone lucky enough to own one. <laughs> like it is, right? It makes so much heat, it has diffusers both front and rear. And I'm still sweating! was fun. So much fun, I almost forgot about Aurelio for a second. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Have you met my apprentice, Hina? She's here from Tokyo, a very talented mechanica. I'm learning a lot about Japanese street racing. Like it's okay to lose one teeny little race? Hmm? Oh, that? Don't worry about that. Just come and meet me. Okay, street racing school. I'm ready. Actually, I thought we could just relive the Midnight Club era. Drive a Japanese legend, have some fun. Oh, well, yeah, that sounds great. Welcome to the Midnight Club. <laughs> exactly. In the 90s, Japan produced speed machines from Nissan, Honda, Toyota. This Supra 8. Hina says back then, everyone wanted a Supra. I can see why. 3-liter twin-turbocharged inline-6, 276 brake horsepower, 315 foot-pounds of torque. The turbos are sequential instead of parallel, so you get a consistent boost at low and high RPM. Wow, Alex, you know everything. Not quite. I just have a good crew to help me. Tune this up for us. Tuning is huge in the Japanese scene. Hina says you couldn't get into the Midnight Club without a top speed of 160 miles plus. Of course, she probably wasn't even born then. Ale, neither were you. Okay, good point. was amazing. Say thank you to Hina for me. I will. Actually, I should get back to the workshop to see if Aurelio has beaten any more of my lap times. This is it. I've set up a rematch with Aurelio. Time to bring out Las Armas Grandes. I, uh, I don't know what that is, but I'm intrigued. Ah, big guns. Got it. 
This is the Hennessy Venom F5. Cars don't get much faster than hypercars, and hypercars don't get much faster than this. Get in. He's not nervous at all, just excited. Like, he doesn't even care who wins. He's just happy to race. Maybe I've been doing this all wrong. Do you mind if I take some time, clear my head before our next lesson? Yeah, take all the time you need. Listen, I've been thinking a lot. It's time to put this thing with Aurelio behind me. If you can forgive a stubborn old mechanica. Go, I'm here for you. Hey, how you doing? Better. When I lost that race to Aurelio, I thought I was done. An old model, too slow. But here's the thing, at Horizon, we love history. We love you, no matter what. I spoke to Aurelio. We're gonna try our monthly workshop race again. All these talk of the past, forget it. The Rimac Nevera is the future of speed. Woo! That's what I said. All electric, zero to 60 in under two seconds. Nevera is the word for sudden lightning storms off the coast of Croatia, where this thing is built. Good name! Let's get the rest of his compadres in here. for helping me. I can't wait for next month's races. Aurelio and the others have already started tuning up their rides. Sounds like your workshop is about to get pretty competitive. <laughs> How do you think race cars got this fast? 